Hey everybody, my name is Abby. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. So today I just filmed a my first Halloween look. So if you want to know how to get this look, um, check out yesterday's video. But today I wanted to talk about my old apartment. So I've filmed a few videos in that apartment um, for the channel. So basically I moved to a different state. I'm not I'm gonna try to like leave it as vague as I can to where it was. Um, but I'll just say that it was in Maryland so I moved there for a few months for work and um, I lived with my then boyfriend who became my fiance then and now we broke up so um, if I say we that's who I mean so this apartment so when I was looking for apartment, I looked by myself I went with my mom um, we found somebody like last minute like a realtor last minute to look at a few apartments one that we looked at was so, so small. It was like the size of my room here was the entire apartment. It was not good. And the stairs were like barely, I, I'm, I'm pretty small and I can barely fit through the stairs. Like there's no way you're getting furniture up there. So I don't know like who lived there. Like they sleep on the floor or what. But, um, and the second one we looked at, um, this building is, it's in like the, this downtown area. It's not a huge city, but it's not, it's pretty small, I think, for like, as far as having a downtown area, like you would think a really big city would only have a downtown area, you know what I mean? So, it was in like the arts district of this area, this downtown area, and um, like the, when you walk up to like where the district starts, there's like theater and like studios and stuff there. And the ground, like the pavement, is has like the, the crosswalks are like music notes, like lines of music, and then the pavement is has like this smooth glass made into it to look like glitter. It's pretty cool, but and like all the buildings are super super old. Like this town is probably like from the early 1800s, maybe late 1700s that it was built, and this building was from I believe the late 1800s and so the downstairs is a photography studio and then you don't like to get to the upstairs floor there's like a separate entrance like around the side that you go up and the f second floor above the photography studio is a couple like small offices just like whatever um just people that kind of rent out that space for their their own office or for like to run their business like I know there was a um like a graphic designer that had a studio there and there was a modeling agency that was there and then you keep going upstairs and there's three apartments up there which is a whole nother problem like I worked at a bank with credit and stuff and if you live in a building that's shared like if you have a a building with apartments and with businesses the government classifies it as a business like that address physically is a business and it's really hard to get credit for using that address which is like not really relevant to the story but I just never like really understood that until I lived there I was like oh my gosh like everything is like whenever I put my address in things they're like you need to have a physical address it's a business I'm like no this is my house <laughs> I live here so Anyways, so you walk up to the third floor, there's, it's kind of a weird, a weirdly, weirdly shaped, like the apartments aren't all the same size, like my neighbor, which we got to know the neighbors pretty well, the one across the hall, her apartment was huge, it was like three times as big as mine, and then the other neighbor, I didn't, I never went inside of his apartment, but his, it seemed, it probably was a lot smaller, and it was kind of toward the back of the building, whereas mine was in the front of the building so like my windows looked down onto the street but then some of her windows looked down to the side because the department on that side like wasn't or this that side of the building is not connected to another one it's kind of on a cross street so you can kind of look down her windows and see the downstairs or like the um the ground outside and her like apartment was it, like the rooms were set up really weird the first thing I noticed when I, we visited was that there was just random doors everywhere like the apartment that I have was long and skinny I have a video 
um, back on my channel if I can find it I'll show you it was like I started decluttering and I took it like a before video and I kind of talked about that all the doors like because my apartment was long and skinny so you walk in to the kitchen on the left is a bathroom and but then to the right is the living room you go through the living room and there's the bedroom so there's all these doors and I never could it was like why because they don't open they're nailed shut which I kind of thought that might it might have been like multiple apartments at one point but it actually turns out that this building used to be a hotel it was hotel the name of the city I'm not gonna say the name of the city but um it was like up until I think the mid 1900s until they converted it into like an apartments or businesses and stuff and apparently my apartment was like the foyer of the third floor so that's why all the doors were in the row on like in my apartment and then there was one that had a stained glass like a not really stained glass but a um what's it called a frosted glass window and then a couple of the other ones had just solid wood doors they still had the knobs and everything on them which i thought was super weird but the neighbor like um she put like black paper up um so you couldn't see i mean even though it was frosted you could still kind of see through it you know but and there was those um windows above the doors that you can like raise up and down i don't remember what they're called i'll put it i'll put the name here if i can remember what it is i've never seen that before <laughs> so um, but those were all nailed shut you couldn't open them and it just kind of looked like it was haphazardly like it, you can definitely tell it was not meant to be an apartment because when you walk in the kitchen is kind of like there are no top cabinets it was all bottom cabinets and there was a this bar area and then once you walk around the bar area like there's a little bit of space between that and the wall to walk through to the living room there was this big open like divot in the floor it was like about a foot drop maybe eight inches of a drop down and then there was carpet and the rest of the apartment was hardwood so that was kind of really weird that that was like and it was pretty much brand new carpet too which i thought was strange i'll talk about that in a minute but like the rest of it was all hardwood like it would have been beautiful hardwood if they had kept up with it but it was just really dirty and like scuffed up if they would have like maybe sanded it a little bit and re refinished it, it would be beautiful but and then like the walls were wood paneling that was painted white or like that cream color you know that all apartments are and um and the ceilings were really 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 high like this it was hard to like keep it warm in there because the ceilings were so so high and there weren't any like ceiling fans or anything and also the wiring was weird like one switch would turn on like all the lights <laughs> and you could and there weren't like separated you couldn't just turn on the bedroom light you had to turn on all the lights which one night um my ex was in the bathroom and there was there's not an overhead light in the bathroom and there's one on the wall which was like a sconce type is on the wall and it had a little pull chain which um, yeah I don't know but it was super super old looking and one day the pull chain just broke and so we didn't really know what to do so we just unscrewed the light bulb every time <laughs> we wanted to turn on the light which is probably super dangerous but um but then like one day he went to screw it back in and it sparked and all the lights went off in the whole apartment and we called the maintenance and they basically didn't care for a while so we had no lights for a while but some of the outlets still work though which was good so we could plug in lamps but so they called an electrician to do that and then the heaters wouldn't work like there was one there was one underneath of the island like bar area and there's one like a kind of along the hallway that goes to the living room and then there was one in the bedroom and then there was two radiators that didn't work for anything they didn't really turn on and the one heater along the wall wouldn't turn off because when I started living there it was in the middle of winter and it just wouldn't turn off so we had to like i basically had to flip the breaker off to get it to turn off 
and then they called them and the the electrician talked to me he was like um don't use these because <laughs> they were so dusty and like the neighbor was telling us that people had their kids and they like put the kids like stuff stuffed in there and I kind of looked and there was like toys and things and down in the heaters and so yeah I never used those I just used a space heater but so now with that being a hotel you can imagine I am fairly convinced that it was haunted um which my neighbor she she believes in all this stuff which I I kind of don't but I think it was haunted so but she was telling us about how that was um a hotel and all that stuff which I kind of thought because of the weird doors and, and everything and she's telling me about how this woman used to that used to rent it she somehow she passed away and she was like in that um that weird carpeted area that I was talking about so you know like it's really gruesome but when somebody dies you know there's cleanup involved and so that's why there's new carpet <laughs> and um and that apparently used to be an elevator shaft which is why that it's kind of weird it's not like part of the regular floor actually if you looked at the carpet you can see down into the the office below which is super creepy, by the way. But I'm glad those are offices and not apartments. Because, like, I mean, I wouldn't look. But you know what I mean? Like, somebody else that rents that. Weird. So. Um, yeah. So that's why there was brand new carpet. And, um. See, I don't know. I'm thinking that either somebody else might have died there. Or, or she was a lot, or like, really, really old. And here's why. Because the neighbor didn't really say much about it. She even, like, she said the last lady that lived there, like, had to leave because it was too weird for her, so. And she, like, wouldn't, she didn't have any furniture or anything. She didn't even, like, ever fully move in because she hated it so much, so. It was kind of, uh, scary, but. So, every now and then, um, at first we slept on that carpeted area because it was winter and there was only one window in the kitchen and the other two windows were in the bedroom that were huge and not insulated because it, this building hadn't been updated since you know the 1800s so windows like single pane not insulated so we shut off the bedroom to keep the you know to keep the cold out and then had the space heater in the living room and kitchen so we had a blow-up bed because we couldn't get our bed up there and um the blow-up bed was on that carpeted area and I, every night I would lay down, I would like, as soon as I put my head on the pillow, I would hear this music and he swears he couldn't hear it, which he probably couldn't, but you know, it was like this older, like from maybe the twenties or thirties, that kind of like swing type, like smooth, um, something you would hear on one of those really, really, really old record players ones that you would crank and they had like the big um like horn on them i'll put a picture up if i can find one but something that you would like even hear in movies from that era on that kind of record player you know and then i would even hear like the little static of those if you've heard one you know what i'm talking about but it was just so weird like every not every time i would lay down i would hear that and then it would get cold which I know that like when a ghost is around it gets cold but so yeah and then the whole like lights going out thing I uh, I don't know if that was the ghost or just faulty wiring which could be a mixture of both um we had stuff go missing like we search and search and search could not find it I don't have lipstick on my teeth do I no I don't think so yeah, stuff would go missing. The a neighbor had a dog. She had a little Yorkie, and the dog would. She was so quiet, but then sometimes she would bark, and then I would feel really weird. Like usually she barked when somebody walked by, but then she would come up and bark, and nobody was there. And the scariest thing that I think. I mean, there was scary things that happened, like involving physical people, but as far as like 
you know, ghostly type of things, we would hear, like, every now and then we'd hear somebody screaming outside. I'm not making this up, I swear. But we would hear somebody, like, screaming. It sounded like it was right outside of our window. And then we would go look, you know, open it, because there was no screen or anything. So we'd just open it up, stick our head out, and there was nobody around, nobody to be seen. So, yeah, that was kind of scary. That and, like, what proved to me that I thought there was a ghost was the music that I would hear and like I would go I would even like go downstairs to the second floor there was nobody playing music or anything I mean sometimes like the modeling agency played music you know for their modeling fashion shows and stuff but yeah that was super and it definitely wasn't that kind of music either so yeah there's a lot more things that happened that were like scary I mean if you want a video about that kind of stuff um leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and I know this wasn't, like, super, um, creepy, scary, but, yeah, that's how it was living in a haunted apartment. I mean, I'm sure if I had, like, believed in ghosts and, like, knew they were there or, like, was really scared of them, I, maybe more stuff would have happened. I don't know. Let me know if you have any ghost stories down below, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.